Now we move into Prasarita Parottanasana B, straight after Prasarita Parottanasana A. So we stay here. We don't go back into Samasitihi in between these. So we exhale, coming out of A. And now the counts for B is inhale. Now we reach the arms out to the side, which is different than A. Exhale, hands back to your hips. Inhale, deep breath in. So at this point, you can create length. And then exhale, fold forward, keeping the hands on the hips. Five breaths, one, two, three, four, five, full rounds of breathing. And on the inhale, we're just gonna go straight up all the way to the top and exhale there. So let's break down each of those moments. We inhale, reach the arms to the side. And you can think about reaching the elbows away from each other. So it feels like the shoulder blades are moving away from each other and you're sort of creating space in the upper back. Exhale, hands back to the hips. Inhale, you have a moment to feel the rooting down and the counteraction of that, of rising up. So inhale, root the feet down, draw the lower belly in, and feel the rib cage lifting away from the hips. You may not notice anything from the outside, but internally it's a really important moment to establish that foundation of stability and feel from that stability this rising up and spaciousness happening. So that as you exhale, you can move forward with, from, a, from a place of spaciousness and stability. So inhale, and then as you exhale, you can keep reaching the heart forward, just like in a forward fold. As you keep pressing through the feet, keep reaching the heart forward, so we're creating length as we move into it. And you can have the four fingers, these four fingers in the front of the hip, and the thumb wrapping around towards the back of the pelvis. And you fold forward, crown of the head reaches towards the mat. And then here you can have those four fingers I just mentioned sort of like pressing into the lower belly just inside the iliac crest, pressing there just gently, just as a reminder to draw the lower belly in and find that Uddiyana Bandha. And then the elbows can point up towards the ceiling just to help us find that spreading spaciousness across the collarbones so that we don't collapse through the front of the heart. We're lifting the elbows and reaching the heart towards the floor. And then the legs are strong, you can micro bend the knees. Same, same points as Prasarita Parottanasana. Stability through the legs, pressing through the feet, drawing the lower belly in, relaxing the front of the hips, relaxing along the spine, crown of the head moves towards the floor. And make sure that the neck is relaxed, that there's space around the neck. And this becomes a little bit more of a balancing posture because we don't have that extra point of contact with the ground through our hands like we do in A. So it becomes a little bit more about balance and a little bit, you know, about like we're kind of upside down. It's a little bit of an inversion because the heart is coming down below the hips, but we're not totally inverted. But we're, t we're starting to get that sensation of being upside down. And this time we're even, we're even testing out our balance by not having our hands on the floor. So just notice how that feels. How does it feel to test your balance in this way without having an extra point of contact with the hands? And allow those sensations to move through the body. And while we're there, in all of these Prasarita Parottanasanas, in these semi-inverted postures, it's a good opportunity to see if we can maintain that deep, steady breath. It's, it's easy for some reason in these postures to kind of lose that connection. So we're here, and when you're ready to come out of it, after the five breaths, we press through the feet, and we drop the tailbone as we lift the heart up. And that's how we want to come out of all of these Prasarita Parottanasana postures. So there's a tendency to come up like this, where we, we, we lead with the head and we start to come into a back bend. We kind of come up like that. And what that does, that totally takes us away from that stability in the legs. We get uprooted because we're so focused on leading with the head, looking at where we're going and coming into this super pranic back bending shape. So instead, press through the feet, initiate the coming up by pressing through the feet and slightly dropping the tailbone helps us to continue connecting into the feet and rooting the feet down. And then 
lifting the heart so that we're not totally collapsed and we're not totally coming up like this, right? There's a balance. We're dropping the tailbone to connect into the feet and we're reaching the heart forward, but we're not lifting the head. Let the head just kind of be passive. Drop the tailbone, keep the heart open and come up like that. Yeah, and then that way you stay rooted and connected, but you also start to open the heart as you come out of it. And you're coming up in this really balanced way. And then exhaling once you get to the top. And then from here, we move straight into Prasarita Padottanasana C.